Today, we'll be taking a look at the latest with Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch. Some new Cardi B rumors, Stone Cold Steve Austin's reported return, and more. Let's start things off with this new report on Stone Cold Steve Austin. The last time Stone Cold Steve Austin made a big appearance for WWE was back on March 16th, 2020 to celebrate 316 Day. There was one big problem with this appearance. It just happened to take place during the first week of lockdown, so there were no fans in the building for this appearance by Steve Austin. What was supposed to be a big appearance in front of a live crowd ended up being a performance center appearance by Austin. They changed the script and obviously did what they could with the last second change. Austin made a joke about no one being in the stands, interacting with Byron Saxton, and drank beer with Becky Lynch while they both messed up Byron Saxton. Well now, it looks like we could have Austin's next appearance on the way. Wrestle Votes is now reporting that several of their insiders have confirmed that WWE is interested on bringing Steve Austin in for WrestleMania 38. This show will be in his home state of Texas, and he also made a big WrestleMania appearance last time the show was held in Dallas a few years back. The report claims that this wouldn't be a wrestling role, obviously, but still a very impactful and significant appearance. It wouldn't be one of those appearances where he pops up randomly backstage for a couple of seconds. It would actually be a much bigger appearance, maybe something on the level of the last few WrestleMania appearances. Steve Austin was a part of that opening segment with Hulk Hogan and The Rock during WrestleMania 30. Fast forward a couple of years later, and he had that big moment with Shawn Michaels and Mick Foley. When it comes to Steve Austin and WrestleMania, WWE knows how to make that appearance special. So to hear that they may have another big WrestleMania moment planned for him in 2022 is definitely exciting. Will he just appear at WrestleMania itself, or will he be appearing leading up to the big event as well? A lot to wonder about and to look forward to there, so we'll see how that turns out. It was another great week for Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch's storyline. They even continued the storyline over the weekend with a short segment that was uploaded only to WWE's social media platforms. Becky Lynch announced that she would be in the gym that she and Seth Rollins own. So that message gave Liv Morgan all that she needed to know about Becky's whereabouts. Liv then decided to pay a visit to Becky's gym to try and catch Becky off guard while training and attack her. Turns out that Becky was slightly ahead of Liv Morgan and knew that she was coming. So Becky had a woman in the ring who just looked like her to fool Liv Morgan. Liv goes in and fully attacks this innocent woman that just happened to look like Becky from behind. Becky Lynch then appears behind Liv Morgan, but Liv is still able to fight through and still get the upper hand on Becky, causing Becky to retreat in her own gym. This was actually a very cool little moment. It's not often that WWE does these outside of the ring sort of segments. So it was definitely great to see and I'd actually progress the storyline without it even taking place on Raw. WWE posted the clip in the middle of the weekend and it served as great purpose and was great. It provided some progress for the story and even prompted Raw in a way because everyone wanted to see what Liv and Becky Lynch would say about that moment. Which leads us up to Raw. Liv comes out with her kendo stick in hand and goes over her thinking process and what led up to her making that decision to go pay Becky a visit at her home gym. Becky comes out, tries to make Liv feel bad about hurting that innocent woman, tries to paint Liv as this evil one. But Liv throws the kendo stick in front of Becky and tells her to pick it up and enter the ring. Becky claims that she has a flight to catch and walks from Liv. So when you look at the gym attack and this Raw segment, it's all Liv Morgan. She appears to have the upper hand in the mind games department. First of all, the gym segment was great because it builds Liv up and paints her in a certain way as this courageously brave warrior sort of character. Here's a woman who technically only has one good hand after the steel steps attack, but yet she still marches into enemy territory, surrounded by Becky's trainers and friends, extremely outnumbered and hurt. 
but wants to fight back. So when you look at it like that, that's a babyface character that you want to get behind. It's insane to do what she did under all those circumstances, but it shows that she's ready for the challenge and not backing down at all. Then in the Raw segment, it sort of mirrors the gym segment. Liv Morgan is ready to go. She even gives Becky Lynch a weapon to use on her, but Becky just cowardly retreats. So when it comes to the two segments right there, it's basically Liv Morgan with two points and Becky with zero. Both the Jim and Raw segment showed some fear of Liv Morgan from Becky Lynch's part. She didn't want any part of Liv Morgan in those two moments, and they both ended with Becky Lynch basically running away. So the build-up to their second match has been much more intense than the first build-up. During the first build-up, Becky wasn't taking Liv that serious. But after Liv proved to herself to be a threat during that first title match, it appears that Becky respects Liv a bit more, and Liv is just straight gunning for Becky Lynch now. So there's some great story planted there for their day one match, and that's great to see. You look at the titles like the United States and the Intercontinental title, and yes, those two titles, they may get defended every so often, but those two titles never have any storylines to go with the matches. Damian Priest faces a new opponent every week, but never has an actual storyline with his opponents. Same thing for Nakamura. Fans even forget that he has the Intercontinental title sometimes, because it's extremely difficult to remember the last storyline feud he had defending the title. So it's nice to see that Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan aren't just randomly matching up. There's actual months and months of storytelling to go with this feud now. So that'll only make day one even seem more important. Even if Liv Morgan loses that match, she should still remain a big part of Raw because this feud has definitely improved her as a performer and as a character. So hopefully we do get to see a lot of Liv outside of the title picture as well. Cardi B and WWE rumors are back in full force. After it's been officially confirmed that Migos will be performing at WWE Day 1. Reason why this is so relevant to the Cardi B rumors is because her husband, Offset, is a part of that rap group. So it's really crazy how this turned out. Everyone knows that WWE has been absolutely crazy to work with Cardi B for well over three years now, but something has always gotten in the way. A Cardi B pregnancy, scheduling issues, there's always just a roadblock when it seems that WWE and Cardi B are close to working together. Like Cardi revealed on several occasions, she was a massive Ruthless Aggression era fan of WWE and really wants to work with them one day. She's just waiting for the call. And everyone knows that WWE feels the same way. They really want to work with her as well. So with Cardi B's husband confirmed to be backstage and taking part of the show at day one, fans wonder if Cardi B will be backstage as well, if she will make a cameo or not, or if she would be involved in any way. Does this Migos appearance lead to Cardi B's appearance in any fashion? Remember that we saw this play out with Bad Bunny, where he was just there to perform and somehow got tangled up in a storyline. So, does that same sort of thing happen here with Cardi B and Migos? But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.